Well, a fine good evening, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm in Burlington, Vermont this evening on the University of Vermont campus, and the building in front of us is the Waterman Building. I will say right now that uh, this is on uh, South Prospect Street, and uh, a very busy, busy street, and uh, it's Christmas Eve. It's just crazy how busy the street is. Anyway. Let me tell you about the building, then we'll do a walk around. This large brick building with monumental Vermont marble columns facing the west side of the University Green serves as UVM's main administration building. Built in 1940-41 to the colonial revival design of the McKim, Mead, and White architectural firm, the Waterman Building was a gift of Senator Waterman of Denver, Colorado as a memorial to Charles W. Waterman, class of 1885, and his wife, Anna R. Waterman. Before the Waterman building was constructed, three homes were removed from along South Prospect Street. The largest academic building on campus, it originally filled a very wide range of needs for UVM. The primary function was to provide offices for the university president and administration, staff, and several academic departments, and numerous classrooms and meeting rooms, but Waterman also, at first, had several apartments for faculty, student, recreation faci facilities, complete with a bowling alley in the basement, a large student dining hall and kitchen, and storage space for the library's holdings. Waterman now houses the offices of the University President and Provost and those of the College of Arts and Sciences, the Graduate College, Financial Aid, and the Registrar, all on the main floor. It also serves as the home for the College of Education and Social Services, several academic departments, computing services, the accounting department, and other services, as well as numerous classrooms, lecture halls, and meeting spaces. In the basement, on the basement level, the original main student dining hall has been converted into the largest student computer lab on campus, and the former bowling alley space now holds the university's graphics and printing shop. The library storage space was converted into a lecture hall and a meeting room. Formal dining facilities are still offered on the top floor in the Waterman Manor, while snacks and light takeout foods are available at a concession on the College Street level. I should note that that was written in 1999, and uh, could be that uh, some of these places have changed uh, since then. But let's do a walk around of the building. And uh, I mean, light is night is falling, so I don't know if uh, we're gonna have enough light. My new phone uh, does not does not uh, uh, make it look like daylight for you, unlike my last one. So. What can I say? It's not like this was an inexpensive phone, but it's a mid mid level phone. Although maybe the light you're seeing is a little lighter than what I'm seeing personally. Hard to say. Last I knew, I think financial aid was at the end of this hall here, but uh, that was quite a long time ago. I graduated in the 1980s, and I did work at UVM between 90 and 93, but uh, really that was a long time ago, wasn't it now? Nearly 30 years. They're doing some sort of construction work here. We can see. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something. All right, there's nothing else on this side except a parking lot. So let's go back around the other side and uh, you can see scaffolding over there, and you can see the sun is setting. <laughs> beautiful columns, beautiful ionic columns over there. Uh, these uh, right here with the two uh, um, 
rolls. I talked about that briefly for the Ira Allen video, and that's what the ionic column looks like. All right, I'm going to pause this uh, video, get to the other side, and start filming again. Hang on, I'll be right back. One thing I want to point out is this, this beautiful stack wall here. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? This did not exist when I was a student here. It's a beautiful addition, though. All right, I'll pause again. All righty, now here's the other side of the building. And let's walk down the hill. Let's walk down the hill and, uh, and take a gander how beautiful this building is. I will say that I guess there's a bit, little bit of night vision going on with the uh, camera. It is darker out than the video suggests. I just love the lights on the building here. Aren't they, aren't they something else? I mean, that's a wow factor. And two up there as well. Love that. I don't know if I can keep that. See, uh, you see the stairs right there. And even the stairs are beautiful. The railings are just lovely. So. All right, let's continue down. And, uh, I guess I'll stay on the sidewalk, but uh, it's pretty chilly out here tonight. It was 28, but that was that was earlier. I'm guessing it's down maybe 26, 25 degrees Fahrenheit. 32 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to zero degrees Celsius. Just so you can have an idea of. Uh, the temperature, but there's a wind chill on top of that. When it was 28 degrees, it felt like 20, and uh, it's pretty breezy. All right, now you see my baby. My car is right there. Yay! I'm gonna pause it again to get behind the building. Be right back. All righty, here we are in the rear of the building. Pretty dark now, on camera, but not quite as dark as real life, though. So this, I um, don't know if you can tell, this, this area that just out here is um, round. I don't think this can really capture that as well, but uh, it's, uh, so it's round, like a rotunda, and uh, I think this is where Waterman Manor is, up on the top floor of this back area here. night though. This is impressive. You get a much better sense of how that's round now. We're seeing UVM professors and other professional staff here dressed in their suits, ties, women with their shirts and heels, blouses and all that going into Waterman Manor, so it's a, it's a pretty fancy, it was a, it seemed like a pretty fancy experience. I've never uh, eaten there. I'm just not a fancy kind of person. Oops, that was ice in case you heard that sound of something skidding across the ground.
Beautiful building though. Thank you to Senator Waterman from Denver, Colorado. No, this is not chump change you donated to have this place built. So. All right. And this is the scaffolding we saw from the other side. And now it's in darkness. Will my light help at all? No, it will not. All right, well, there really is nothing more to see here because uh, it's too dark now. And even my camera can't fake it anymore. So this is Patricia and I and traveling for history. Until I see you again, you have a great evening. Today is uh, December 24, 2021, Christmas Eve. So I hope uh, those who who celebrate Christmas have a merry one. Happy holidays otherwise, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.